Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mr. Teacups and welcome back to The Sim City. So I have a shit ton of problems at the moment. If you look down at my bar at the bottom, everyone is pissed about everything because my city hasn't got a lot of electricity. Because as I said before, I've outsourced all my electrical needs from my other city in Norwich Hills. Well the thing is, it takes a long time for the electricity to travel down from the other city. So yeah, everyone's pretty pissed at the moment. And like this whole quarter of the city isn't being powered at the moment. It's gonna be a few hours before that gets powered. And everyone is freaking bitching at the moment, which is kind of annoying because it takes fucking forever. Like if you buy power from the other cities and that, or if you buy like garbage use or anything, it takes a long ass time to get to that city. And the thing is, all these people are gonna be bitching uh, for a long, long time. And I think, yep, uh, those people have left because of no power. Oh, quite a lot of people have left because of no power. Oh, high taxes, actually. Oh, come on, let's check the taxes. How, how bad are they? 10%? Are you serious? 10% is nice. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, uh, high taxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me guess. High taxes. Oh, low land value. Oh, come on. You live in the best part of the city. Yeah, uh, uh, some people. You just can't please them. <laughs> but, um, yeah, since the last time I made a SimCity episode, um, there has been some cool things going on, really, in the SimCity world. Or well, not actually in the SimCity world, outside the SimCity world, that everyone who has bought a copy of SimCity at the moment gets a free game from EA. You can choose from like Dead Space 3, um, that place is on fire because my electrical service hasn't supplied power to my fire station for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's not because of that, it's because they ain't getting any water, that's why. Mmm, shit. Oh, my city's gonna burn down, I know it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, as I was saying, um, EA have been giving free games to try and butter us up because of the server problems that plagued this game on day one. Which is kind of cool that we're getting something in return, like I picked Dead Space 3, but I don't really care about Dead Space 3. I don't actually really want it. Yeah, I'll take it because it's free, but I'd much rather them take away the whole DRM. If they took away the whole DRM, fuck Dead Space 3, I'd rather that. And I'm kind of pissed about that. Because, you know, as I just said, they're buttering us up, you know, they're trying to shut our mouths up. Uh, a lot of people will be silenced, a lot of people were pissed about it, will take the free game. But, um, oh, fuck's sake, high taxes, are you serious? Oh my god, loads of people are leaving, come on power, just get here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my, wait, where's that fire truck come from? That must have come from the other city. Um, has it? Uh, where's the fire truck come from? You must have then, look. We'd like water, please. We'd like water. Come on, electricity. And I'm... Oh, there we go. Um, is everyone getting powered? Uh, it's near enough got to everyone. I think that building isn't getting powered, but everyone's getting powered. Sweet. All right. Okay, finally, this city is doing well, but we just lost over 10,000 people out of that. Uh, the university is closed. I actually just... Um, upgraded my university I think to its full potential it's actually costing me seven grand one hundred dollars an hour that's that's a lot but the cool thing is now I added in a school of business so all the businesses in the region will earn a little bit more money which is good uh, but I'm actually saving up now hopefully to, oh I just went past it 200 grand for this space center great work once I research this I'm able to build a space center for 1 million um, that honestly won't take me that long to make 1 million in this city 200,000 won't take that long to get by my other city I'll be able to make the million so space center should be happening around about next episode which is gonna be sweet but um oh come on is the water getting energy is the water getting power I think it is okay all right now we got to wait for the water system to get back up and running so it reaches everyone that's gonna take a while um, the health service is up and running. A lot of people are sick. Shit. Um, I probably need to get a few more cars on the road. There doesn't look to be enough cars um, from my clinic. Or not my clinic, my hospital. Um, education. What's wrong with education? Water storage. Yeah, the water's getting there. Don't worry. Now, mass transit. I want to test the theory, right? I was lit, uh, like researching this game the other day and I heard someone talk about buses and how they're pretty useless. Uh, and a lot of people are saying that buses, the way they work, they will usually go to a bus stop where there's the most people. That's something you can really understand, you know, buses wanting to go to a bus stop where the most people are. But a lot of people are complaining that buses were, you know, just jamming up the roads because all of them were trying to get to the same bus stop. And I'm going to try and test this theory and have a look around. So if we look around here, we've got a lot of buses on the road. I've, I think I've got um, a whole bus shelter worth of buses. Most of them on the main strip, because that's probably where the most all the people are. And generally, I've actually like analysed this, and my buses don't really get 
that clogged up really like some people have been saying that but i honestly think the ai isn't too shabby on the buses and that's saying something because the car says absolutely shit ai but i'll monitor this over the next few games now my street cars my street cars i've got a shitload of them because <laughs> they're currently taking 119,000 people off the road um i don't think they clog up the streets that much because they go down the center anyway so you know they're not clogging up anything so I don't think there's anything wrong with them, but now I ain't got any trains in this city. I've got 7,000 people traveling by boat. Can we actually upgrade my ferry? Um, no, I can't. All right, um, that's kind of annoying, really. Uh, can we get more passengers? Like, if I built another ferry, would I get more people taking the ferry a day, or is this the max amount of people? Because there is a 55-minute wait, so that must mean there's a little bit of demand for a ferry. Uh, but I don't even want to waste that money, because that would cost, like, 40 grand to build another ferry. I'm not too sure about that. Um, finally, the buildings are getting rebuilt from the ones I absolutely demolished. Uh, oh, we've got some abandoned buildings creeping up everywhere. Because um, they couldn't sell, got sick... Uh, too much germs, of course no power, obviously, because we didn't have power for fucking ever. Um, out of money? How could you be out of money? This is a vibrant city. For sale. <laughs> uh, building fire, building fire. Too much crime, actually. Um, I don't know. I think I've handled crime well in this city, but I don't know. <laughs> you keep getting loads of criminals on the loose in that, and it's, it freaking gets a little bit annoying. Like, I, I, like in no, like normal cities, I don't think there's that much crime. Okay, he's pissed about the higher taxes. I'm still kind of annoyed by that. Higher taxes, are you serious? 10% is a higher tax. Come on. And why has uh, everything just dropped? My budget just went down hugely from six grand an hour. What the hell just happened? Why am I losing so much money? It's, why am I losing a lot of money? It's, um, Because mm, I did actually demolish a lot of my commercial area that was huge. So I must have lost a lot of money through that. But why am I losing a lot of money all so quickly? Um, hmm, That's, I'm, I'm actually wondering now, I don't know why. Uh, high taxes, come on, are you serial? But the one thing I'm trying to do with this city is I'm trying to make the density as high as I can because I want level 3, well, you know, higher penthouses. Uh, we've got, don't like that we had no power. This is the thing, people are going to be complaining forever that they didn't have no power, that they didn't have any of the services. And wow, I've just lost a shitload of people. My population has now gone less than 200,000 jesus christ um wow see that's the thing that's the impact because we couldn't get power quick enough i lost over 20,000 people just like that i think it needs to be a little bit faster but um i think yeah i'm just gonna leave the city finally our money per hour has gone up a little bit we're gonna go back to norwich hills basically chernobyl because that area is just fucked but they're doing well Alrighty then, we are back in Chernobyl, and this city is doing pretty well. <laughs> Even though it's got pollution out the arse crack, it makes me a sweet little bit of penny. And I think some buildings are getting a little bit of an upgrade, so that's sweet, so we're getting some more people moving in. Uh, my city specialization is failing a little bit because we're getting too much storage of our, I think it's our ore and coal mine, because I'm not really too sure what to do with it yet. Um, I don't want to... <laughs> I don't like that, that they encourage criminals in this game. It's, it's not really that realistic. Um, hmm. What's wrong at the moment? Fire service, the fire service, buildings burn down per day. Seven, okay. It looks like a lot of industry fires are happening, so I think we might need to place a large fire station somewhere. Um, where should we put it? Where should we put it? I can get rid of houses. I don't really care about houses. We'll put it there. That seems like a prime location. Sweet. That must mean we got some abandoned buildings piling up, and yes we do. We've got a load of the homeless walking the street as well. Um, I don't know how to treat the homeless problem, I guess maybe make more jobs. But we got a load of industry, go get a job somewhere, Jesus. Too much germs, that's kind of... Yeah, I kind of expected that because um, the sewage pipe was in their back garden basically. Uh, too much germs... Uh, what is too much germs? Oh, building fire actually. Um, look at that ground pollution up here as well. Um, is my casino... Fucking hell! That's losing 51 grand a day! Jesus Christ! Oh, we're deleting that. I've not put a lot of investment in my sleep casino, but it's just not making no money. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> we'll get rid of that. Holy God. <laughs> my, my, my. Um, we'll get rid of that. Not enough places to ship freight. Mm. It's quite hard to win out the freight in this game because my other cities don't really need it. No city really needs it. It's only if you've got a huge commercial district. And really, none of my cities have that much commercial. They're mainly all industry. So what I might do is in my second city is maybe turn that into some sort of 
commercial city that could work really. Uh, where's the other abandoned buildings? Uh, bang, bang, bang. Alrighty then. Um, I wish you could just delete the homeless. <laughs> That'd be so much easier. But I'm kind of pissed about my sleep casino, man. I put all that investment into it and it just sucked ass. Waiting for garbage to start shift. And I've also in my Rack City, I've bought garbage. Um, I've bought, uh, what's it, garbage services as well. Um, which is pretty beast. Uh, we're making 33 grand there a day. Uh, what? Why am I making no money from my casino? What? I'm making 13 grand there a day, making 24 grand there a day. Why isn't that should be giving me some sort of daily profit? What the hell? I should be making moolah from that. What? What? That's that's weird. That's actually really weird. Um. All right, we'll leave that for now. Uh, train station's doing well. Should we organise an event? Uh, oh wait, the event is. Oh shit. Oh good. Is wait, is the event already happened? Oh, it's preparing. Okay, sweet. All right. <laughs> I thought it happened then for a second. I was like, oh god, we just lost a lot of money there. Um, but um, one thing I wanted to ask people, I don't know if a lot of people are actually following my SimCity series, is this is the thing, once I get to an international space center, I'm not really too sure what to do from there. I don't really like my cities at the moment, I don't think I planned them really well, and I was thinking, of, I was thinking about maybe starting again. Maybe starting from fresh in a bigger region and actually proper plan out my city. If anyone wants to see that, maybe leave a comment down below. But yeah, um, are we got we want to place to ship our freight. I know you do. Don't worry, I'm trying to get you some. You got places to ship freight there. You can just leave it in the trade depot. <laughs> I don't know about the trade depot. Does it sell the stuff on the global market? Um, I guess you can't sell freight then globally. You must have to sell it locally. That's kind of a bitch. Um, do we have a demand for commercial? No, we really don't in this area. Maybe for high level commercial. Um, maybe we should add in some parks in this city. I know they cost a lot of money, but maybe our density will go up and people will be, well, people will be worth more, so they'll give us more rent money. Yeah, we'll give that theory a go. Uh, let's put in some ponds and parks, I guess. Let's put in a pond around about, uh, I don't want to delete that city, those houses, what the hell? Uh, we'll put a pond there. Uh, we'll put a pond. Um, where can we put one? Where can we put one around about here? Fuck's sake, I don't want to destroy these houses. <laughs> um, I guess we could put one there, I guess. Um, uh, I guess really we could put some up here because this area isn't really that polluted. Um, we'll put that there. Sweet, alright. Um, and we'll put one around about here. Alright, so we have enough parts for now. Uh, my people are, Everyone's dying all around us! No! We'll get rid of this abandoned building. Alright, we've... Ooh, we're making 11 grand an hour. Sweet. We've also got money coming in from gambling, so we're making even a bit more money. Sweet. Alright. Has the event started yet? No, it hasn't. Okay, that starts at 8 o'clock. Well, it should be starting now. Oh, it's starting at 8 p.m. Alright, what I think I might do is I might gift my main city 200 grand so we can start that research project so let's gift a sum to millions uh how much we got how much can we give should we just give 200k straight away uh there we go okay send that gift and the money has been sent uh what else can we send we can sell fuel metal crude oil we've got a load of crude oil actually raw ore uh how do we make plastics do we have to build some sort of place for plastics i guess um, I know TVs, I know people have been talking about TVs, that TVs sell a lot, and they make some serious moolah. Um, computers, I guess, would sell a lot as well. But uh, we'll wait for that to go through. Uh, let's have a quick peek around the city. I want to wait for this to start, because I really want to know what happens. And uh, what, one thing I'm still kind of pissed about this game is we still haven't got the full features. Like, we can't go to max speed at the moment, cheetah speed. We can only go to llama. Which is really annoying. I really want to go to cheetah speed. That would really speed things up. I'd actually like to view the leaderboards. That would be pretty cool. We've got achievements, I guess. But I didn't really give a fuck about achievements. But I don't know. It, feel, it still feels like... How long's this game been out? Over a week now? It still feels like we've got half of everything. Like we haven't got the full features. That's pretty fucking annoying, if you ask me. We've got abandoned buildings piling up. Oh my god. Poor people are everywhere. Um, shit. I, I still don't understand why people are poor. There's jobs everywhere. Uh, but the thing is, uh, now that we've got ponds and parks, homeless are going to start packing up there. Um, and they're probably going to start end up molesting the kids if this game was realistic enough. Uh, we could lower the taxes and maybe give people more monies. We could do that. Uh, we'll put it down to 10%. Why not? Um, 
Okay, that's cool then, alright. We'll take down the taxes. Hopefully people will start bitching a lot less that they have some more money. Um, the shopping is just down the road. Why don't you get off your fat Oh, Christ, people. Um, what else have we got? What else have we got? Um, it's those mobile fans. We actually got taxis. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> um, the city's doing well. It really is doing well. Uh, the sports event has happened. Sweet. All right. Uh, how much money is we going to make? Current payout, 22 grand. So we made 22 grand profit. That's not too shabby. Uh, hopefully more people go in there a little later on. How much does that cost to run per hour, actually? Only $300 an hour. That's pretty sweet. That's actually a sound investment, this, the Expo Center. You make a lot of money out of that. How much my gambling... My gam what the hell? Why is my gambling HQ not working? Like, these are making monies a day. Tell me how much money I'm getting. Come on. Lean Tower Pisa is making me a lot of money. I'm still... I'm really pissed about that sleek casino. Uh, let's have a look here. Is it... Like, can we build a cheaper casino? Um, you see that cost me 140 grand. I just deleted 140 grand's worth of fucking casino, man. Ugh, damn it. I guess maybe we should build sci-fi casino because it tailors more... Well, it doesn't really tailor more. Maybe, I don't know, maybe more poor people will go there to make a little bit of money. Um, wait, what? Why is it still... I'm minusing 14 grand a day, what? Where's... Where's that minus 14 grand coming from? Is it still taking into account the Sleep Casino? It shouldn't be. It should not be taking that into account. That's freaking annoying. So we're going to have to wait for the end of the day before that to change again. But um, how much money am I making on this? All right, 88 grand payout. That is not too shabby. That's nice. All right, let's go back to Rack City. So hopefully we can start doing the research. All righty then, we're back in Rack City. My population has gone down a little bit, I think, since we were last here a few minutes ago. Uh, we've got to wait for that 200 grand to come through because it takes a little bit of time. And where's my clock gone? What the hell? Um, that, see that international airport? That has come up like five times. That isn't news. That is old fucking news game. Um, how long is it going to take for the... Well, I want my clock back. I don't know what time it is. I'm paranoid. I don't know the time. Uh, we'll wait for the money to come through. Then we can start that research project, hopefully. The crime here is just too much. Are you serial? Are you actually serious? We just lost a bit of money. We're now losing. We're in deficit right now. What the hell? I don't really want to tax more people. They'll start bitching. Transportation has cost me a pretty penny. Um... I don't really want to delete any of the parks and that, otherwise people will just bitch and their their land value will go down. I'm spending a lot on police and services, man. Just deal with it. You know, fight crime yourself. Become kick-ass. <laughs> um, right. Well, where can I cut back? Where can I make cutbacks? I know my education has cost me a lot of money. Uh, look, my students, they cost me a shit ton of cash. You know, 7100 an hour. Maybe we could delete a high school or something. Have we got any schools left in the region? Um, maybe we could delete City Hall. That's costing us two grand an hour. But I think people want that. You know, their um, land value goes up because they have government authority, I guess. Uh, people need to be led. A bunch of sheep, basically. Um, lemmings. Uh, did I, I think I deleted the high school. That's the thing. We've only got the university in the region. I, I, I think I deleted, like, the primary school and the secondary school. So, I don't really know how to make cutbacks. I don't want to make cutbacks on... The streetcars, because they just take a lot of people to the road. I guess maybe we could get rid of the bus. Well, that's only 800 grand an hour. 800 grand. That's only $800 an hour, so that isn't really doing much damage. Well, I guess... Well, why, the area isn't so healthy. This is the thing. The area is healthy, but it just takes them so long to change their opinion. Christ. Um, let's actually have a look at the germ map. Uh, where's ground pollution? Where's ground pollution? We ain't got no radiation in the city, thank God. Uh, wind map... Ground pollution. All right, we got a little bit of ground pollution building up from what is that? What is that? Well, we used to have what was it called? We used to have a sewage out. No, we used to have a garbage dump there. So the ground pollution is taking a sweet ass time. Uh, and the sewage treatment plant obviously it's got a little bit of pollution. That over there is pollution from a long time ago where we did have the original um, sewage pipe there. So it, it slowly goes down over time. We haven't got no industry in the city, so. I don't know why people are bitching about germs. Um, areas that are under construction, obviously, because, you know, construction works, do have a little bit of pollution, but that's about it. Uh, what about air pollution? See, there's not that much air pollution in this city as well. You know, we've just got leftovers, so I don't really know why people complain about germs. Germs map, now let's have a look. Um, all germs about for our health. It's only a few buildings. Uh, there's no water pollution. There's no garbage really packing up. There's no sewage problems. So I don't know what people are bitching about. Uh, that's kind of annoying, but let's actually have a look at the waste. So, 
see as you can see here I've got garbage trucks coming in from my other cities so they're taken so they're quite helpful um, some buildings have got a load of sewage building up especially like the apartments and the flats or the ghettos the projects um, I don't know why that building has a lot of garbage building up come on guys I might need to buy a few more off of them because like the garbage trucks all seem to be in the same area what the hell why are they actually all in the same area go up to the other side of my city guys um we're not in anywhere near any port water pollution so that's good everyone's got electricity now thank god sewage um ooh. why has the university got a load of sewage what i don't understand that why would he oh maybe i guess so maybe but yeah, the city's doing well. Why are they complaining? And why hasn't my money come through yet? And why the fuck haven't I got a clock? <laughs> oh my. Okay then. Well, have we got any abandoned buildings on the uprise? Yes, we do. Uh, no water. Oh, come on. The water must be getting to you. Look at that tailback. Christ. It just shows you how many people are trying to get into the city from the other city. Looking for jobs and that. It would be good if you was able to plant, like, double highways. Then we could easily take the strain off of that you know because look there's only one way in so that is a huge freaking line builder that's probably why money and really freight takes forever to get anywhere so that's not really logical you know that should be better than that um should we build another train station i don't know whether to or not because i don't really think it does take that much off the road um that place is for sale um my big business is kind of annoying because of freaking power these businesses haven't upgraded yet and they don't like the uh they don't like the high tax well the tax isn't so high it's 13 percent and i don't really want to take it down because otherwise we'll be in huge deficit and this is the thing i haven't taken out any bonds in this game and i'm not going to yet so <laughs> christ where is his money man jesus it takes so fucking long still why haven't we got a clock and how many visitors am i getting a day i'm getting fifteen thousand visitors a day um see so yeah 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 i've already hired the garbage trucks i do know that um uh, what's this? Oh, too much crime. Okay. Uh, wait, what? It says it's abandoned, but it hasn't come as abandoned. Alright, okay, now it has. There isn't that much crime in the city? Come on, guys. Come on. Stop being wussies, man. Take it into your own account. Oh, where is my police station? Actually, I think I have a police HQ somewhere. Uh, there it is. Oh, fucking hell. I make... Oh, actually, we do make a lot of arrests daily. Jesus. Um, hmm. We might need to get more cars on the road, but I can't afford it. I really can't afford it. Uh, we got one crime prevention van and whoa we're out, money just went positive what the hell <laughs> where is this money man why the fuck is my clock gone what the hell we're gonna have a quick look at my second city because i really don't know what's wrong with this clock right this is my second city and this city is actually making a lot of money by itself um it's making a nice little 10 grand an hour this city currently needs alloys i really need to you know do that in my other city i should shut this down to save a little bit of moolah Alright, we'll get some alloys going in my other city. I don't know why I've got a trade depot there. Um, we could probably get rid of that. <laughs> um, is my ferry working? Yes, my ferry is getting a little bit of cash. Well, it's getting quite a lot of people a day. Should we add on... Well, it's a nice of a minute wait. There's no tourists in this city. I don't think there will be. So, we might add on another crew. We might we'll add on another ship. Sweet. Alright. Okay, so I think, yeah, what I'll do with this city is I should hopefully add in oh we got a load of moving trucks coming in uh walking home to mom and dad yeah we got a load of moving trucks coming in jesus so this city is on the rise which is good but we might tr well this is the thing i've got quite a bit of industry here but they're all high tech which is bitching because they have got a university in the region has it got an upgrade no it hasn't um i don't even want to do any research projects here but we should probably get a little bit more commercial here so i don't know maybe more freight will get shipped to this city so a lot of the other cities will hopefully benefit from that, but um, I'm really not too sure to do with it yet. Um, hmm. And this is the thing as well. There is two highway access points in this city. Um, I think it's one of them is just really... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, you can enter and exit both ways. So uh, literally, this is the thing. If you can get a city with two access points like this because it just takes a lot of people off the road. Like, I know my layout here is pretty shit, but I think it's kind of cool. There isn't that much traffic building up. Let's have a look. Yeah, there generally isn't that much traffic. So, hmm. Yeah, in the future, when I make another playthrough, we're going to get a city like that. But let's go back to my other city. Hopefully, by now, the fucking money have come through. We do have a garbage problem building up. And hopefully, my clock will come back. What the hell? 
Alright, we're back in Wreck City. The money still hasn't fucking come through. And our clock has disappeared to... I don't even know where it's gone. <laughs> I don't even know where it's gone. It's night time though, I can tell that. And I want my money because I want to start my research project. What the hell? I think what I'm going to do is just wait until my money comes through it. And then I'll rejoin you. Alright, we're back. I've just been waiting around about 10 minutes. And the gift has finally come through. But before I like... Put by the upgrade of the research, I kind of want to show you something which I think is pretty cool about this game is when you go down to people level in this game, there is a lot of attention to detail. Like, you can follow one of these cars and see how their life goes. I think it is pretty sweet, and I have to credit him on that. Like, I've been just sitting here looking at what these people are doing. Like, these people are currently protesting, these people are like, all going to work. Um, you got you know, you got everything running around the city. I think it's pretty cool, you know, for what it is. This is a big game, and I love the fact that you can just zoom down anywhere and see a little world and I, I just think that's pretty cool but yeah we have just got the gift that took so long to come through we are going to start research for the space center bang that's going to take a while but i'm just going to leave the episode off here and next episode i'll hopefully make like save up the million in my other city and we'll get the space center built so i'm mc cup so if you rate, comment, subscribe i'll see you next time